the Spanish chef Elena Arzac arrives with Pierre Gagnier from Paris. Tetsuya Wakuda has traveled from Sydney via Japan, while Carlo Craco has flown in from Milan, closely followed by the legendary Thomas Keller from California. For us, you know, being chefs, professional chefs, cooking for the, you know, the world's cooking elite is a great honor. You know, and we're all very nervous, you know, because at the end of the day, they've got great expectations. I mean, you know, Hessen's speaking us up and, you know, they're going to think, you know, what, you know, what we're capable of. The big guns naturally want to see the kitchen. And for our chefs, this is more awesome than a visit from royalty. So, uh, Elena, I'm doing the packs. I think this is going to. This is Stephen. How are you, chef? Nice to meet you. Really nice to meet you. Obviously, being me doing the pudding unboxed, it's all upstairs box, so I've been dragged down to uh, give the lads a lift. They're all looking to get one earth, is it? What's it's, it's, it's a brummy saying, it made box means it's finished. Butter and a little bit of olive oil, that's it. Mix together. Yeah, that's it. Are you nervous? Yes, very much so, yeah. <laughs> yeah cooking for you, you don't guys, look like yeah. It. You don't look like it. We want to exceed your expectations, not just meet your expectations tonight. Oh, I enjoy your dinner. Yeah, see, you later. see you later. How cool was that? I must have that was awesome. Could you do a bit of beef up that, I think I put that in to put it in a nutshell, what people at home have to realise, especially someone like me, wanting to be a chef since like the age of 16, when people used to have like posters of like football players and stuff, I'd like collect cookery books. Of, like, I remember like my first cookery book and there's like Pierre Gagné in it, and like now he's calling me Jason, asking me about my beef and all that type of thing. It's just like it's just like starstruck. You know, it's brilliant. But then the reality of it's got to be spot on, a sort of kicked in as well. You know, uh, 50 people. And they're sitting with them, you think. It's now 6.30 and Heston's banquet is about to begin. It's a big moment. He's backing our chefs to the hilt, confident that the great British menu will dazzle not only the world's finest chefs, but the rest of his guests too. The first to arrive is Stephen Merchant of Extras fame. Good evening. And Mr and Mrs Corbett. All the guests love good food and want to be at the finest ever exposition of modern British cooking. Pop singer Sophie Ellis Bexter is the next to show. And TV presenter Dan Cruikshank has now arrived with Dutch artist Marenka Gabler. This is the food writer, chef, and presenter Anjo Manand. And the artist Tracy Emin is just ahead of Michelle Roux and comedian Rob Brydon. The actors Rupert Penry Jones and Dervla Kerwin are here now, and Rugby World Cup winner Matt Dawson. Next to arrive is Sir Terry Wogan, a big fan of Great British Menu. Matthew and Prue are joining the guests in the bar right at the top of the gherkin to enjoy a drink and the spectacular views. It's a great opportunity for the biggest names in world cooking to catch up with one another and they're excited about the banquet ahead. For me as an American, um, to realize what really modern British cooking is, it's going to be my, my, one of my first experiences with that. I have high expectations because of, the, because of the chefs that are downstairs. But the worlds of gastronomy and showbiz are by no means mutually exclusive. I come from a cooking and baking family, so it's in my genes, so I, I cook. Uh, oh, I can't cook, but, and we are, we do enjoy oh, our grub. Yes. Darling, it's our favourite thing in life. Oh.